So basically what we're doing is serving breakfast is essentially what we're doing. So we do offer eggs, uh, toast, home fries, all nine yards, and then we open for service. And then it's just a marketing game, just to, you know, um, as far as, uh, you know, drop beer on top, that's one of our specialties. So, um, but that's, that's, again, that's what we've been doing for some of years. So the tradition that has been a problem is the one that happens at St. Patrick's Day. Um, and if you come back to us on St. Patrick's Day, we're going to have a much bigger discussion about this. I'm not aware of any problem on homecoming weekends. Um, have you had any issues? So, so no. the St. Patrick's Day one starts with um, kids essentially drinking all night long beforehand and then shoving up downtown and like, throwing their bottles in the bathroom. Um, it's well, quite we opened it you know, on St. Patrick's Day. This year. Uh, all yours. All yours. As a matter of fact, the, which was the past year, the uh, police department asked us to let people in because we were abiding by our license because they wanted us to get people off the street and help them control what was going on. So, but this, what's your experience with the homecoming situation? It's not the same as St. Patrick's Day, is it? No, I mean, you have a, a large, uh, uh, alumni coming in into Amherst. And a lot of this, again, this has been a 13-year tradition, so a lot of these folks are coming in because they're used to it, and uh, no, it's usually a little bit of a little crowd. And to be honest, they're usually gone by noon because they go to the football game. So it's usually just a quick hit in and out, and then, and then folks go to the football game, and then we're open for business. Other questions for the um, I mean, my, my feeling at this point, I really appreciate that you guys came recognized and is that we just need to be in as much as you can have a very good relationship with our police chief and be cognizant of what happens during this particular event because there's obviously some different perceptions as to how things work. I should sure remember the line that was for new and so obviously I'm not doing St. Patrick's Day. So um, I've got to disconnect in terms of what my experience with this has been as well, but I understand also what you were referring to words of what usually sounds like to a morning crowd at 10 in the morning, which is not <coughs> So I, I guess I'd say at this point that it's, I'm okay with this with the understanding that we'll maybe have a little bit better communication between us as to how this particular event went to see if there is anything we need to revisit at another time. Because aside from this particular day, this is the only time we're talking about opening 10, right? Correct. And, and so there license does have an opening at noon. They are entitled to have their license um, open at 11. So this is really kind of technically a one hour fee. But um, as I said, I'm not aware of this ever being a problem for homecoming. But the case and egg concept is one I associate much more with St. Patrick's Day, which is a big problem. I mean, a big problem. Um, so um, those conversations will continue. Um, other questions from Select Board about homecoming? Yes, um, I also want to appreciate coming in because you had to know that you were going to hear about all of these problems because it's a huge problem. Right. Um, the, the, the question I have is, uh, do you be selling beer at 10 o'clock? Yes, we will. Hmm. Um, do we have to be okay with that? I mean, I really like the idea of a place where people to come in and maybe get some tomato juice to begin to deal with what they had been doing the night before. Right. But, but um, I believe the term is pre-gaming. Um, it's a very upsetting idea. To, I don't want to support that in any way. Um, I'd like people to drink wisely and encourage that. And so, uh, well, that, that's my question. Do we have to? Um, no, we don't have to. It's up to us because it is, a, it is an alteration to their life. Um, but it is just for one day. So, you know, obviously, I think my, my feelings on this are pretty clear. And yet, I'm, I'm very willing to try it. <coughs> Really, it is an hour's difference from what's allowed by law, even though their license is for new currently. Um, and I, as I said, I'm not aware of, I have not heard about serious complaints from the homecoming part of it. Um, and we can see those in the next year. Obviously, we're not making 
Um, at least you can say that our environment is a controlled environment, and we do the best we can to manage that. So, yeah. so, so maybe that, that brings me to, to one of the reasons that maybe I'm most appreciative that, that you decided to come here today and put up this. We're going to pay attention. 